Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A lot of people right now are struggling. The West is fueled and filled with so much haram. I'm living in the UK, you're in the US. Bringing up children and trying to be a husband and wife in a nation like this is difficult. I am married. I don't have any children yet. I'm trying to so, uh, make dua. I'm living in the US right now, but I'm actually in the process of making hijrah. I'm in the process of actually moving to Morocco, uh, which is... Yeah, which is where my wife is from. Most likely in about two months, actually, and probably in May, I'll be moving there. I've just gotten back from Morocco and I was there actually getting an apartment and making some preparations for my wife and I to move over there. I actually recommend Hejra for people to leave the West if they can. Yeah. I know in certain situations it may be difficult if mm -hmm. you have parents that are elderly and you need to take care of them. But I believe that if you can, it's best to actually move to a Muslim country. From my own personal experience, there's nothing like the amount of peace that I feel when I'm in a Muslim country. I've actually had a job previously where I had to work outside a lot. I had to pray a lot of my prayers on the go and I would be praying outside. I've had cops called on me. I have people try to fight me because I was praying outside in public parks and stuff like that and all different areas. My experience has been difficult living as a Muslim mm -hmm. in the West, worrying about food, where to actually buy meat. And actually where I live is kind of difficult. There's not that many Muslim restaurants. If you mm -hmm. want to go out to eat or something, it's just difficult. Whereas I've been to several Muslim countries, but I've spent most of my time in Morocco just to hear the adhan every day, five times a day to wake mm -hmm. up to the Adhan for Fajr, to have a mosque or several mosques just within walking distance, being yeah. able to walk there and being around mainly almost all Muslim people. And everything is halal. All the food is halal. You're not worried about what you're going to eat. It's mm -hmm. just a much better experience for a Muslim. So <laughs> I recommend Hijrah. I know that legitimately some people can't. It's very difficult. But if you have the ability, I really do recommend it. I was really worried about raising my kids in the U.S. and having them go to schools where they're pushing the rainbow agenda and all this other nonsense. I really recommend leaving the West for Muslims yeah. that can. Actually, and this is controversial, some of the people in the West that think that Islam is incompatible with the West or Western values, I kind of actually agree with that. This is a thing I always call out, this hypocrisy. I don't know if it's the same where you are, but in the U.S., they say love is love. So a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman and, you know, it's fine. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, a man cannot marry more than one woman in the U.S. It's actually mm -hmm. illegal. You cannot marry more than one woman. Well, hold on a second. If love is love and if it's only about consent which that's what liberalism is about oh consenting adults well if the two women let's say involved and the man involved if they all agree they're fine with it the man loves and cares for the woman that he's married to what's the problem there's this immediate sense of hypocrisy i don't know for whatever reason they think it's wrong but i thought love was love that's all that really matters this is just a small example but i think that in many cases actually the so-called western values that they have in this so-called modern liberalism i don't think really is uh, compatible with islam that's why i personally recommend hijrah and that's why i am actually planning on leaving the u.s in the next couple months that's my position and i know that a lot of muslims may disagree that's why even while i'm living in the west i've tried to give dawah i've tried to have mm -hmm. a reason for being here to share the message of islam but i think it's almost less of an issue now because most of the dawah that i do do is online. I mean, I, I do some events and stuff like that in person, but most of it is online. So yeah. I could pretty much do the same Dawa that I'm doing yeah, from correct. Morocco or another Muslim country. You're very honest and I agree with you. Me and my husband, we've got two kids. You know, Alhamdulillah, we live in a city where we are quite lucky in terms of there's a lot of Muslims here. We've got halal mm. meat shops, we've got halal restaurants, we've got all of that. We've even got an Islamic school, we've got Islamic nursery. You know, they're very limited, but we do have that. But we still don't want to live here.
<laughs> we were recently in Dubai and I know there's sometimes people are like, oh, Dubai is not really Muslim. But it is because like you said, we heard the Izan everywhere. You know, we were in the shopping mall, the Izan would get played, there's no music. There's a prayer room in every corner. There's a mosque in every corner. You know, it was That's so a big difference. clean. Yeah, it's yeah. so clean. And then like you said, you're walking around and you see loads of women in hijab. People mm. say, assalamu alaikum to you as soon as they see you. You know, it's just really, really different. And just coming back from there, I said to my husband, we both agreed. We were like, we don't want to live here. We want to live in a country where our children grow up and that's normal for them, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.